The purpose of this live stream is twofold. Number one, I'm going to share my position on the potency of controlling one's language and also maybe to answer some grammar questions at the end if uh, anyone has any grammar questions. So first I'd like to discuss the importance and the potency of controlling one's grammar. And this of course is related to the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar. The language itself, the grammar itself, getting closure on it is profoundly powerful and potent because when you have closure on your grammar, when you have control of your language, then you control your vessel and what goes in and out of it. Think of it this way. Think of quantum grammar as a vessel that you climb on and Maybe you climb on it and you don't know how to work everything, but you can get it moving out into the sea. Keeping to that hypothesis, you're out there in the sea, you don't have closure on how the vessel works, you just know how to, the very rudiments of it, and then suddenly you come into stormy waters. And now you don't know what to do because you didn't get closure on how to operate in the vessel then the, the stormy waters smash your vessel and you fail, and now what? That is the importance of getting closure on your grammar and the technology before you use it. That is why I always stress when people come to me and they want to know about how to get a seat pass, they want to know about how to do this, how to do that, how to do a court case. They want to know how to fight a traffic ticket or, or things like that. What they, I think what they're missing is the importance of learning it themselves and getting closure on it. Once they learn the grammar, now they are in a position of autonomy where they can create an authoritative correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, performance for themselves with knowledge as their authority and be successful with it. I know that there are a lot of other elements related to this. However, the foundation of everything is the grammar, which of course was created by colon David Eifenwin, colon Miller, and colon Russell hyphen J colon Gould. And I am eternally grateful for their creation and my position as a tenant within that creation because I've done some very wonderful things with it. And I've taught over the last two years, I've taught a lot of people and a lot of other people have done wonderful things with it. But that is the foundation of what you would use in your other conveyances. Meaning if you want to create a correct sentence structure claim, your foundation of that is the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. If you syntax a document and you put those number values on there, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, whatever it is, and then you're put in a situation where someone asks you, what do you mean adverb, verb? What does that mean? What is an adverb? What is a verb? What are you talking about here? What's a dangling participle verb? You would have closure on that. And that is so important. And I can't stress that enough. That is why I only teach the grammar. And it's all here on this YouTube channel. Of course, the, um, the way I learned it, was through those old videos of Colon David and Colon Russell, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of study. I also had to do one-on-one -on -one mentorship with a tutor, Colon Raven hyphen Farhad hyphen Tohidi Colon Afarin, and that's where I got the closure, which led me to the closure of the grammar that I got 
And that is normally uh, what happens with most people is they have to find a tutor to do a one-on-one -on -one scenario. However, I will stress that everything I teach in my workshops that I provide are available on my YouTube channel. All the information, all the knowledge, it's all there if you want to study it. So I am a port authority. What am I a port authority of? My live life claim port. This is a port. As I navigate through the sea of space, information comes in to my port of sensation. And when it comes in there, it docks. And then I formulate knowledge and ship it out as claims. That's why I say, if you look in the description of my videos, it will say something like, for this claim and sensation of the cognition is, with this correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, claim of the facts with the knowledge by this claimant. Meaning, everything comes from here. I'm the source of the claim. I can't make a claim for anybody else. I'm not going to tell anybody else what they should or shouldn't do because that's trespass. One may only make claims for themselves unless they have the consent of someone else, power of attorney or whatever to make claims. But as a general rule, one may only make claims for oneself. Where does the claim come from? Source, here. You out there in YouTube land would not even exist if I wasn't thinking of you. If we were talking on the street out there, you wouldn't exist if I wasn't hearing you or seeing you. To me, you wouldn't exist and vice versa. As we think of things, as we feel things through our senses, just about everything we, we see, think, hear, smell, taste, whatever, those things come into our brain as words, okay? Now, wouldn't it be very powerful if we could control those words, that inner dialogue that goes in and out of our port of sensation? That is the potency of this language, this quantum grammar, is controlling the words in your head that go in and out. I once made a video a couple years ago about diet and language. And I made the analogy of how you walk into a supermarket and you got all this stuff on the shelves and usually the cheapest stuff is the stuff that is the most unhealthy. And you look at the ingredients and you find out that there are poisons in there. So you were consuming foods that had poisons in them and you were gradually poisoning yourself. And then when you found out, when you gained knowledge about that, you stopped consuming those things. It's the same thing with language. When you find those little words that have particles of negation in them, like receipt, befriend, you know, those poison suffixes, poison prefixes, things like that, you've been poisoning your, your psyche for so long with those things, then you find out about it, now you're aware of it, and you can cut those out and use the grammar to control your construct, your biosphere, your matrix. It's all up to you. And that's what I try to convey in my construct is autonomy. I stress that number one, the most important thing is to learn the grammar. I know I was the same way. I wanted, I wanted to do all kinds of things. I wanted to fight this court case and, and, and fight this uh, tax bill and, and, you know, all different things like that. But I had to settle down and learn the grammar first because that's the foundation. If you make that foundation, that geometric level playing field of contract for yourself, now you can build on it very strong constructs because you have closure on your foundation. You are confident of your foundation. And you can build from there and do pretty much anything you want 
with the maintenance of the rule one, rule equal, and the honor and the grace. That's how it works. Now I'm going to look in the chat here and see if I have any questions. Uh, hello, John. Matt. Ricardo, what's up, my friend? Argo Glass. Hello, Argo Glass. Anyone have any grammar questions specifically? Where did you study to learn the grammar? James hyphen Wesley asks. Where did I study to learn the grammar? Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, I studied colon David hyphen Wynn colon Miller and colon Russell hyphen J colon Gould's videos, hundreds of hours. <laughs> and then um, I was very fortunate to meet my mentor, brother, and friend, colon Raven hyphen Farhad hyphen Tohidi colon Afarin. And he led me to the closure, the complete closure of the grammar, which I learned through one-on-one uh, -on -one workshops and, uh, that's how I did that. Let me see here. Matt P asks, can you explain the tilde? Tilde is a location, Matt. So you will see a tilde in front of addresses. You will see tildes in front of dates, times, because time is location, now space. That's what that is. A tilde is location. Hello, Stephen. Uh, I watched their videos also. I have to watch again. Well, I'll say this: I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. <laughs> I studied for going on a thousand hours before I began to get any kind of proficiency in using it. It takes a lot. I mean, I know I've, I've always heard like Colin David and Colin Russell. Well, not so much Colin Russell, but Colin David was very fond of saying he has so many thousands of hours of, of study and performance. And Russell has so many thousands of hours of study and performance, so on and so forth. So along that line, in those spirits, I've kept a general, kept general track of mine, my study and my performance. And I'm, I'm closing in on 6,000 hours now. It takes a lot of investment. And fortunately in, uh, fortunately, in the year 2017, I think it was, 2016, 2017, I was in a position where I could study this like eight to 12 hours a day, MP3s playing in my ear all day long. And uh, that's what I did for a very, very long time until I got closure on it. For me, it took uh, maybe longer than others because in college, I was an English major, so I had to unlearn all that BS. And I'm glad I did. Uh, thank you very much for your kind words, Stephen. If you have any questions about the grammar specifically, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I will give you whatever closures I can via that conduit. Now, keep in mind, it's very hard to give these types of deep closures via a comment or an email or, or, you know, things like that. So that's why if you do have a grammar question that requires um, a lot of uh, closure, I will probably direct you to a consultation, which 10, 15 minutes, it's very easy for me to talk and, and share that closure with you. All right. Also, I have that podcast for the Quantum Grammar Shoot over on the Anchor platform. I have the Correct Language Performance Facebook group. I have a WordPress site and a SoundCloud. And if you scroll through my videos in the descriptions, I think there's uh, links to all those things in there somewhere. And uh, you're welcome, Jojo. I'm very easy to reach. As any of my students will tell you, um, I will get back to you within 72 hours if you contact me with some sort of answer.
If I can help, I help. If I can't, I'll tell you I can't. Uh, so there you go. Again, thank you very much for watching and have a blessed day.